Time to start working on sugar beet stuff. So we're pulling out the sugar beet topper here. Welcome to the Red River Valley of North Dakota. A land flowing with milk and honey. You're watching Beet Farm and Mitch. Believe it or not, they do grow sugar beets out here. And that is a sugar processing factory in the middle of Montana. Yeah. Man, look at all this powdered sugar. Yeah. What do you think, Jenny? Cold. Cold. Quite the view, though. Cold whitefish. Let's hit it. Jimbo with the K-Site Magnum tractor paint helmet. That was Whitefish, Montana. That was fun. Went with a crew of friends. But now we're back in the shop, grinding away. Well, would you look at that? We got a beet harvester in the shop now. So we're back in the shop. We went through our sugar beet toppers. So we got our toppers all good to go. So the cat likes it whenever we have the beet harvester in here because it's like her own personal jungle gym. So this one pretty much, a lot of different service things we got to do on here. Uh, as far as our lifter wheels go, I think they're okay. We don't have to replace them. But you see these gaps in here? Usually we like to put something we call the spiders on. That is these things. And basically those little bars these bolt on there and those little bars plug those gaps up so that the small beets don't fall through. And so we like that for pre-harvest when the beets are smaller and it's usually drier. And if it's too wet, we take those spiders out and it still harvests all the beets. And so lots of stuff like that. We got to grease it, check bearings, make sure the grease zerks are working. There's these little wheels all over under all these um, chains and different things like that. So we've got a lot of stuff to do, check the chains. I think there's a couple cracks up there we gotta weld, so all kinds of different stuff, but here we go. What are you working on over here, Jason? Oh, changing the flaps on the wheel. Put some rivets on. Keep the flaps on. <laughs> and what are you working on, Casey? Well, rebuild a couple, couple lift your wheel hub assemblies. Yeah. A lot easier to fix it now than when stuff hits the fan. <laughs> and I've just been greasing this thing, fixing the zerks that are broken. Well, there's lots of stuff to do on here, but we're just gonna keep chipping away. I can see a couple wheels on the conveyor out up there. Casey's kind of been working on that. Jason's still working on these flaps back here. Um, but on our other beat lifter, we have a couple fun accessories that we're adding to this one. So I get to do a little fabricating here this afternoon. Uh, this year, we 
had to keep our grease gun in our tractor, so we're gonna weld this on here, paint it green. Grease gun should just be able to slip right in there and sit back here. We're gonna put a scraper mount up there because it's nice to have a scraper like one of those guys on here. And then we're gonna put a little oil jug there. We use oil on, keep our chains nice and lubed up. So just a couple of nice little easy brackets and weld it on there, paint it and work on that and keep chewing away on this thing. Uh, and we got new lights on here last year. We put LEDs on here. This is worth every penny. You can see so much more of what's going on in the har harvester. It's like going from candles in the medieval age to like modern electricity, so. Anyway, we're gonna weld this guy up and start fabricating. Well, if we test out our new accessory holders, we got grease gun holder right here, a scraper holder up there, and then back here we got our oil jug holder. Okay, so we are officially done. We went through both of our sugar beet toppers, and now we went through both of our sugar beet lifters. And so we're gonna pull this guy out of the shop, put him in storage until pre-harvest starts in August. Next on the docket, we're gonna get a row planter in here. So we've got two row planters to go through, those mono stems. And then we've got our air seeder. We're gonna replace all our discs on our air seeder this year. So that's gonna be a bit of a job. But, and then we, oh, and then we gotta go through some spring tillage stuff. Just make sure that's pretty good. It's usually not too much work. Just grease it, check the tires, make sure nothing's busted, that kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna pull this out. Probably get a row planter in here next. And, Keep chewing away at the list of winter to-do items. It's spring now, actually. But I think we're starting to get March Madness or spring fever, kind of ready to get back in the field. On to the planters, and then on to planting. Back in the storage, she goes. Ready for next August. <laughs>